That overhead power there used to go to full in the corner of their garden. And they didn't like that, so it's now under the field. And we don't even know exactly where. But luckily, the farmer can go and ask Electric Northwest to come and tell him exactly where the utilities go. Also, we've got how many, oh, you won't know, how many new houses have you got? 11, up the 11 new houses up there, and there's a sewage pipe that comes all the way through the field and comes out somewhere in the back, and there are land drains across the field. So that's with the knowledge you've got to try and find out whether it's from the utility company, local knowledge, new build who might know where their drains go. This is what you have to work out in what I thought we would just dig across it. And then you suddenly realise life's not quite as simple in, as it is in my head. Great question from here. Can, can we, could communities go about buying all the mole plows, the diggers, directional drill one, and then have a sort of higher use shop and then share them out between the communities in need of, you know, like I think that's the sort of thing that we need to be looking at for the future. Has anyone got anything they want to say? Lindsay, could you, if you went into this field, yeah. you, you wouldn't have the electric cable going there. No. Nope. You'd go behind it. But then, I've, Is that... at some point, we want to get to the whole of the village. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it, yeah. and it's sort of easier to try and pass some of the houses, even if we don't initially connect yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. To no, do it. Just... But Electric Northwest, this overhead power, this is all over Cumbria. Right now, they're replacing the poles and they won't let us play on the electric, but we could just wrap fibre around them and get miles to rural places where those things are all over Cumbria. They won't let you though, they're all the over moment, Lancashire too. Electric no, no. North West won't play ball. No. But this is a lack of joined up thinking. But even if they did play ball, they'd charge us too much in rent, so let's, let's just dig it. Let's just dig it and do it properly. Yeah, there is that. Yeah. It's going to expose to the elements either then, isn't no. it? Too? Right, yes. So does it go underground at the pole? Yeah, and it goes pole, right yeah. So, so yeah. even going through that field, there wouldn't be any better well, way. Unless you went behind the pole. You oh, have to yeah. Something else you need to know about electricity, you see there's a transformer on that pole, that H pole over there. Yeah. There is a neutral earth, yeah. copper wire, buried, which will come out maybe 50, 100, 200 metres, because they need to be down to a resistance, I think, of 2 ohms. So that farmers don't electrocute their cows, but after that it's in uh, straightforward copper. Normally, it's, it's a piece of scrap copper cable they've, they've used. So, so if you, if again, you cut that, you're cutting off their earth. Uh, yeah, and everybody will start frying. It, it, that's a serious problem. <laughs> yeah, so we better not do that, Walter. Yeah. You better be clear. Make sure wherever there are transformers, and it's only overhead transformers that have this problem, not underground ones. Remember that, Lindsay. And, uh, don't that fry, health don't and fry the villages. <laughs> don't fry the villages. Neutral earth yes, is what you want to remember. Neutral earth, Lindsay. Lindsay! Oh, another question. Oh, sorry, you said there was a problem with the sewage, and then you said there was something else underground. Land drains. Oh, okay, what's a land drain? So, a land drain is um, drainage for the field so it doesn't get really boggy. And quite often they're old stone drains and they can be two feet down and if you go through them they break. And... Want to say any more about land drains, Mrs Farmer? Yeah, Palmer? you won't actually know you've gone through it when you're mole ploughing or digging it in. Uh, but then the field will go all wet and the farmer will be coming back to you to say, you've made all my field wet. So you've got to know where the drains are and you've got to do what the farmer says. If he says that they're a metre deep, you go above a metre. But I have to say, having searched for land drains with dowsing rods, that you can find them. I was pretty accurate with dowsing rods. Get on. <laughs> 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 <laughs>